Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. In today's video, I want to talk about why I don't believe there will be a second stimulus check. Just for the record, I would like for there to be a second stimulus check. I think a second stimulus check is needed, but that doesn't necessarily mean Congress and the powerful corporations and wealthy individuals in this country believe the same thing. And here's my reasoning behind why I don't think the second stimulus check will happen. Number one, the United States financial system is based on capitalism. In order for capitalism to work at its best, you have to have a free market. And I understand with the pandemic, there have been some limitations on that free market and rightfully so. We're trying to protect lives and get this pandemic under control. But here's the problem. With capitalism, it doesn't care about that. If you don't have a free market where people can go out, make a product or service and sell it freely, then capitalism doesn't work. So who are the big players who win through capitalism? Obviously your major corporations win, your wealthy individuals win, and I would even say middle class to some extent wins. Who doesn't win typically are the people who are at the bottom of the totem pole. The people who are actually hurting the most through this whole pandemic situation. Those are the people who typically will not win when it comes to capitalism. So therefore, they suffer. And I'm not pleased with that. But I'm trying to make sure you guys get an understanding of how this country actually operates, at least from a financial standpoint. So it doesn't surprise me that Congress is bickering back and forth and not coming up with a new stimulus package that includes a second stimulus check. That's no surprise to me. I, I don't think they will come to a conclusion. I don't think they will agree on a new stimulus package. It's just not going to happen. Number one, the country has reopened. The kids are back in school. And these are not things that I'm just kind of pulling out of the air. I'm, I'm basing this on the information I've seen um, from credible sources online and on television that COVID-19 cases are down. Now, I, I, again, guys, I'm not, we can argue that point, but, but that's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm, I'm not arguing that point. I'm with you. I wear my mask every single day, everywhere I go, I have my mask on because I'm a firm believer in, I'd rather be overcautious than undercautious and I pass this virus on to someone or someone passes it on to me. So, I'm with you. I, I wear my mask every day, all day. And I'm comfortable with that until we get this thing under control. But you got to understand, everybody doesn't believe that, right? So you got half of our population that believes, yeah, you should wear the mask. Then you got half that don't believe it. And here's the thing. With capitalism, again, it depends on a free market. And some people don't believe by mandating that people stay home and things like that is a free market. So nevertheless, countries open back up, kids are in school, and there are signs that unemployment is down from where it was in you know May and July. So that's in, an improvement. Um, you, you also see other signs that the the financial system is moving again. I was speaking to one of my banker buddies. Um, for you guys that don't know, I spent 25 years as a commercial banker 
and recent, re recently left that career about six months ago to, to kind of do my own thing, start my own company. But I was speaking with this banker and I said, hey, man, how are you guys doing? I mean, how are the, what's, what's going on with the banking industry? Are you guys making any money this year? Are you hurting or what's going on? And, you know, and to my surprise, that banker told me they're having the best year they've ever had. And I'm like, well, why do you believe you guys are having such a great year? He said, well, you got to understand, man, with interest rates as low as they are, especially from residential uh, home loan lending, everybody is refinancing and the people who understand the financial system here in this country are refinancing and taking money out and buying more assets, whether that be real estate assets or whether that be piling up and buying, you know, mutual funds or index funds or individual stocks because they believe everything's at a discount right now. Equity lines, people are doing those and tapping into the equity in their homes and again, doing the same thing, buying more assets because they believe things are on sale. Plus, someone that's looking to buy a piece of real estate, they're not necessarily looking for these incredible decreases in real estate values, what they're doing is they're going ahead and paying slightly below market or market because they can get interest rates now that are so, so low that it makes sense for them to just pull the trigger now and put this thing on a long-term uh, amortization at a 3% or less fixed rate for 30 years. That's incredible. People are borrowing money at least the people who still have jobs and who have not been affected by the pandemic. Now, 60% of the population hasn't been affected from a financial standpoint, but about 40% of the population has. And most of those people work in the service industry or the hospitality industry or the tourism industry. So those people are the ones that are mostly being affected from that standpoint. So he's saying they're having a banner year, which is interesting to me. So, and the reason I tell you guys that is because everybody is not doing bad, doing this situation. All I'm saying is don't have your hopes up for a second stimulus check. If it comes, great. That's just a bonus. But if it doesn't come, have a plan in place. Figure out how you're going to build your wealth and continue moving down the road without this second stimulus check, right? I would encourage you guys to take a look at my channel. I got a lot of videos about investing in real estate, investing in the stock market, investing in index funds. Um, I talk a lot about side hustles, side hustles that I've created. I just want you guys to win and I want you to win every day. I don't want you to to, to be discouraged if you do not get this second stimulus check. Again, I hope, I hope that I'm wrong and I hope Congress gets their act together and gets the stimulus package approved with a second stimulus check before the election. I hope they do that the way it's looking right now. I just don't believe they're going to get it done because I don't believe they really have an incentive to get it done, especially with the country being reopened. Kids are back in school. Uh, unemployment is 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 down from where it was during the peak of the pandemic so that's improving capitalism is kicking itself back into overdrive and these wealthy companies these wealthy individuals in this country who benefit from capitalism being wide open and free are pushing for no more stimulus no more checks no more unemployment because they don't want any of that stuff they want people back to work and putting their money back into this economy because what, 70% of our economy is driven by consumers. People like you and me going out buying stuff. And a lot of times stuff we don't need. So that's what drives our economy. And that's what these folks who are in power from a financial standpoint want us to do, right? They want us back to work. They don't want to give us any more checks or any more uh, unemployment at least not at the federal level. You may get it at the state level, but they're not going to be given any more, in my opinion, no time soon at the state level unless they're forced to through another outbreak of 
the virus. That's the only way I think they'll do it. If things continue to improve like they're improving, this is not going to do it. Well, guys, drop me some comments. Let me know what you think. Again, I'm on your side. I want a new check for everybody, a second check. I, I, I want a new stimulus package. I think we need it. But unfortunately, the powers that be in our country don't believe that. So drop me some comments. Let me know what you think. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, smash that like button for me. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.